Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shrady and welcome back to the channel. So the Ultra League Remix is here and that means we're going to be talking more about the Ultra League Remix. This time I've got a very strong team for you guys to try out like this one. I'm excited about this. I really think it's going to do well and it's it's filled with Pokemon that aren't like top meta but are pretty good and I think that the combination of all of them together is going to be insanely strong. If you go on to enjoy today's video, I'd appreciate it if you left Hey Shrady! Uh, thanks for letting me out of the closet, man. I haven't been able to stand up in six weeks. <sighs> Yep, no problem. Just uh, just don't touch anything, okay? Uh, when you say don't touch anything, you mean like anything? Oh, God. Yes, yes. Anything? Yes, anything means anything. Okay, well, the thing is, I, I found this box here. Can I at least open it? Wait, what? No, 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 give me that to me. What is that? What is that? I, I don't know. I, I know not. I have not been knowing what knows not, and, and it knows, knows not, not myself. myself. Wait. Why are you wearing that red shirt? Isn't that your sponsor shirt? Oh, this is a bulk suit box. You know, that's a perfect segue into us talking about today's sponsor. So huge shout out to Boksu for sponsoring today's video. I I'm going to go clean this real quick. I don't like that Yadaris touched it. So cut to Future Shrady talking about our sponsor. So if you haven't heard of Boksu before, it's a premium Japanese snack box subscription service. Wait, that was I went ahead and that? summoned Jeeves to come and try some of these snacks with me. So the boxes are shipped directly from Japan and Boksu partners with 100 plus year old snack makers to bring you some snacks that are exclusive to Japan. Which, by the way... I love snacks from Japan. <laughs> we Just both saying. do. Over the years, we both spent a lot of money trying new stuff, and this is like a perfect thing because it's all new to us, and I don't know, I like trying new stuff. Also, I made sure to vet Boksu extensively to make sure it was a good company, and I was extremely happy to take the sponsorship as the company is actually really amazing. Let's check them out. Let's do it. Yeah. Look at this thing. This is black sesame taiko that is puku puku thai chocolate i like the name i'm eating it i'm eating this like a cookie with yeah, chocolate, with chocolate in it a the chocolate sticky. is like bubbly salty and sweet you want to try this yeah try me right, where's the mochi now my favorite japanese snack is mochi and we got some mochi candy and some fried mochi in here this one is a chocolate infused strawberry it just looks like a regular strawberry but it's like the texture of chocolate. How is that All even right. possible? What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna try this gummy mochi. <laughs> this is the best one. No. I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good, right? I wanna try some of this fried mochi now. It almost tastes like funnel cakey. It is like a funnel cake. Yeah. If you buy one of these, this would be a good thing to like share with your partner mm -hmm. or with a friend or something like that because mm -hmm. there's like a lot of snacks in these boxes yes a lot or just keep them all to yourself all right just so you guys know we've tried six of the snacks and look at the box <laughs> <laughs> look this is there's still so much more there's also a green tea in here i think a lot of these snacks would go really yes. well with tea yeah so if you'd like to try Boksu for yourself, you can use my link, which is in the description, and my code, which is POGO10, in order to get 10% off of your subscription to Boksu. Shipping is free to the US, and by using the code, you're also helping to support the channel. Hey, thank you to Boksu for sponsoring this video. Yeah, thank you once again to Boksu, and honestly, like, there's so many snacks in here. There's like, we, so many snacks. We didn't even get through half of it in this no. video, and also, we've been recording for 12 minutes eating this stuff. Because <laughs> we didn't want to stop. Yeah, because it's all very good, so we're going to yes. cut all that down, but... Just know that this stuff is really good. So, mm -hmm. either way, cut to uh, future Shrady talking about I don't know Pokemon stuff, or whatever, <laughs> some nerd nerd stuff. Cut to Pokemon. <laughs> cut to Pokemon nerd. So today we're gonna be focusing on talking about Drapion, but also Purple Shrimp is on this damn team. The big difference this season is that Crunch got a buff. Crunch now has a 33% chance. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. To debuff your opponent's defense. And Drapion only takes five poison things to get to a crunch. Let's take a look at the team I was using in this set here. So obviously this is a full XL team, so go ahead and dislike the video instantly. I totally understand that. Uh, but we've got Jellicent in the lead with Hex, Sahado Ball, and Buble BM. And we got Drapion with Poison Sting, Krenkaha, and Akua Tail. And then we got Dragalgy in the back with Dragon Tail, Akua Tail, and Aoutra J. I used a similar team to this last season with Surfetched in the lead, but Jellicent's definitely going to be a lot better on this team. So I filmed this video in advance, which means I did some battles with some folks that you might know, 
uh, as well as a bunch of my patrons who you might also know as well. So these first battles are up against Boigos, the one and only, the Spice is Nice Lord, or whatever you want to call him. He's an absolute badass. So you want to go check him out. There will be a link to his uh, his channel in the description. Very good content creator. Okay, so we pick up a negative lead here up against a Shadow Dragonite. Uh, these Dragon Tails are doing a lot. So we're going to bait with the Bubble Beam here. And then I'm going to attempt to catch the next Dragon Tail or Dragon Claw on the Drapion. And I believe I actually failed that catch. I, I switched one Dragon Tails too soon. But he decides to throw a Dragon Claw regardless. All right, so now he comes out with a a Dragon Tail Gyarados. This, is this a tri triple Dragon Tail team? I don't know what this is, but we're going to spam out some crunches here. Uh, and as you can see, these Dragon Tails are doing quite a bit. Uh, I was going for the deep, uh, hoping for a debuff. Now, it's it's supposed to be a 33% chance debuff. 33% chance debuff, right? R right? Because, I mean, you'll see in these battles here, I've, I've, I don't know if I got the debuff a single time. I think I may have gotten it one time. But either way, we're able to get both shields there, which I'm totally fine with. So we go down, and now we come in with the Jellicent and just throw the Shadow Ball right away so we don't have to shield a potential Crunch or maybe even Aqua Tail. All right, and I'm expecting that... Uh, ooh, it's, a, it's actually a Shadow Ursa Ring. I was expecting the Dragon Knight to come back in. Oh, there's the Dragon Knight. Okay, this is fine. As you can see, these Dragon Tails do so much damage. The Dragon Knight is not even able to get to another Dragon Claw, and we have an Outrage to spare, and uh, well, Ursa Ring is... Uh, yeah, Ursa Ring go bye-bye. So <laughs> GG's Boy Ghost, GG's. I'm just gonna show you the Boy Ghost battles first. Because uh, uh I'm just I'm gonna show you the battles in the order in which I did them. Okay, picking up a negative lead, but we are doing super effective damage with the hexes. Uh so we're gonna throw one hex and then switch into Dragalgy, which is kind of my hard counter, so I don't know why I did that. He comes out with an Ultra League Shadow Aerodactyl. What an absolute spice lord. So, uh, fortunately, we have Aqua Tails. And as far as I remember, in every league, Shadow Aerodactyl is very glassy. So, I'm assuming one of these Aqua Tails might even KO, which is pretty crazy because Aqua Tail doesn't even do that much damage, especially because it doesn't get stabbed. Uh, so, we got both shields. I'm totally fine with letting this come through. So, uh, I believe we come back in with the uh, the Jellicent to get some use out of the Jellicent as uh, if I can farm up and have a Shadow Ball left for the Alolan Raichu, which, by the way, again, massive, massive respect for running an Ultra League Alolan Raichu. He runs stuff like that all the time. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, go check him out. He's got a bunch of cool videos on his channel. All right, so we go for the Bubble Beam so we don't have to shield anything. And now I'm going to be switching right away into the Drapion, and he comes out with a Nido King. So this is actually pretty rough. And as you're going to see here, Aqua Tail is super effective, but I'm going for the debuff. I just want the debuff. I just want to see it and just look at it. There it is. We got one. That's one. We'll count them. We got one debuff so far. So this is definitely going to be a Sand Tomb, which is going to hit for super effective damage. But the Poison Jabs are resisted, and he comes back in with the Alolan Raichu. I'm definitely going to be shielding up whatever this is. It's most likely a Thunder Punch or a Wild Charge. I'm not exactly sure what second move he's running. Uh, but this is definitely going to be another Thunder Punch, but I'm still going to shield this because I would imagine it would probably come close come close to KOing. Unfortunately, that was a CMP tie, so, uh, but this Crunch is definitely going to take out the Alolan Raichu. Does hit for super effective damage. Now we switch right away into the Jellicent and go for the Shadow Ball here and lag a bit. That's fine. And I don't even know if this is enough to KO. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It definitely is. Alrighty then, GG's. Once again, I did three up against Boigos. And then the rest of them are up against my patrons. So shout out to all my patrons for helping me out with this. I really do appreciate you guys. All right, so picking up the worst possible lead, but we have two very good responses to Venusaur in the back. Uh, and he switches into Electivire, but it took him a while to switch out. So I actually have a ton of energy here. So again, we're going to be going for the crunch here. No debuff that time. Of course not. Going for another crunch here. I This will do a lot. It won't KO, but it'll do a lot. There it is. Okay. We get the debuff. That's two. That's two. Okay. Maybe I was just imagining it. Maybe I was just imagining that I wasn't getting the debuff. So either way, uh, we're going to shield up this uh, potential Wild Charge, but it is an Ice Punch. The reason I shielded that up is because that was a CMP tie, so this might force him to use his second shield here. And now, I think I just shield once and then farm it all the way down. Uh, that's probably the play here. Uh, okay, it's, it is a Wild Charge. That's very good. That's very good. Coming in with the Venusaur, and I tapped on Dragalgy, but I guess I, I was stuck in the Poison Sting animation. I don't know what the hell's going on there. But either way, we're going to come in with the Dragalgy now. Uh, I was trying to catch... But that's fine. Uh, this is a very hard counter to Venusaur. Uh, we're going to take double resisted damage from Frenzy Plant, and Sludge Bomb is also resisted, so Frenzy Plant's coming through. There you go. That's a that's a community day move right there that you're seeing do damage. Uh, so yeah, Dragalgy is the hardest counter there is to Venusaur that I've ever found, anyway. Like, even harder than, I mean, definitely harder than Charizard, because Charizard still takes neutral from Sludge Bomb. 
So I can actually farm up quite a bit here. Aquatail is resisted, but it will provide enough chip damage that I should be able to farm down before he gets to another charge move. And I do. And then he comes in with a slow king. Okay, also very interesting. Uh, I'm taking super effective damage here from these confusions, but Outrage is going to do a lot. And now we switch into the Jelson here. And then he comes back in with the Electivire, but unfortunately for him, his Electivire was too low on health. And my Shadow Ball is definitely going to be taking out this Slow King before they even get to a charge move. So as you're going to see here, uh, specifically in this video or in the Boy Ghost videos, the, the, this is kind of a overpowered team if you're going up against uh, uh, a non-XL Pokemon. I know he had a few XL Pokemon there, but for the most part, this is a, you know, it's a big, good showing of how overpowered XLs are if you don't have access to build them. All right, picking up a very, very bad lead here up against Tech Grim. So shout out to Technician Grim. We're going to be going for the bubbly, bubbly, boobla, boom. And then we're going to be switching to try and catch on the Drapion. All right, so uh, looks like they threw anyway. So this is most likely an Aerial Ace. And okay, that's fine. Galvantula comes in. I'm going to go straight for the crunch as soon as I get to it because I want that debuff and I want to get shields before I get debuffed because that lunge is definitely going to... Oh, there it is. Three. Okay, we got three debuffs. It's possible to get debuffs. Good to know. All right, so we're going to let this come through. Whatever it is, is not going to KO. It is a Discharge, which does more damage than Lunge. And now I'm going to be over farming and throwing the Aqua Tail here. This is going to be probably enough. If not, I can Poison Sting down, but I'm imagining that they will shield. They do shield. And now I'm going for the next move. I can only get to one, so I'm going for the Crunch because uh, it doesn't really matter. I believe either one would KO, but uh, so we get both shields. Okay, now, oh, big mistake. Oh, no, I should have just, I know. Why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. I just gave up switch. I gave up switch to snipe. I sniped the Galvantula and I got hit by a discharge, but now, yeah. Yeah, and now, oh, and also lag. That's wonderful. And I don't have gun shot, so this is, I'm, I'm hard countered here. See, if I would have just, I would have just let myself get farmed down and then come in with the Dragalgy and then switch into, I don't know. It still looked like I was getting hard countered, but either way, we're coming in with the Jellicent here. I have to shield this because I can't really take it out with any i'm like i've only got jealousy left all right we're gonna play this out but i think we all know how this is gonna go all right let's see with the shield advantage and a slight energy lead can i take out amanda buzz with the jealousy the answer is no it's a it's a big fat no if i had ice beam maybe but mm, yeah oh wow what a what a crazy you're crazy shreddy you sack swapped wow that's absolutely outrageous uh yeah and, uh, and they sneak a snarl through, which kind of seals my fate here. But, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll let's watch this. You know, maybe I do it. Maybe maybe something happens. Maybe Jellicent learns Ice Beam in the middle of this battle. You never know. It could be possible. It's not possible. It's not going to happen. Oh, yeah, and there's still a Grand Bull left. So, uh, I forgot about... Yeah, that's a big fat loss right there. Okay, so that's a good uh, example of what might happen. Alrighty, into the next battle once again up against Tech Grim. This time they decided to <laughs> run some spice. So they come in with a, a Mr. Rhyme and then they come in. Uh, he, the, oh, Kingdra comes in. Okay, so this is fine. And then I believe that they didn't even build up to the outrage here. It's really hard for me to tell whether or not an outrage has been gotten to. Uh, so we're going to come in with the Dragalgy. Dragalgy does counter um, the, uh, the, the, the Kingdra, but it's. Yeah, when you get the debuff, like, if they would have shielded that, they could have farmed me down. But either way, I'm able to land the Outrage, which takes it out. Uh, Aqua Tail was double resisted there, so no reason to go for that. All right, now we're going to be going for the Aqua Tail here, even though this is probably not going to do very much at all. It is double debuffed because of that Octazooka. And now we can come in with either one, actually. Both of our Pokemon counter Mr. Rhyme pretty well. Uh, but Jellicent will take resisted damage from Ice Icy Wind, which, by the way, the only reason I know the moveset is because I've battled Ted Grimm before, and they use this thing. All right, so there's an Alolan Muck in the back, and this is a, it's a bit too rough. It's a bit rough, but Drapion can sort of counter Alolan Muck. We're going to go for the Bubble Beam first, and then hope to catch on the Drapion. Okay, so we're able to catch here. This is most likely going to be a Dark Pulse. Well, it has to be. There's nothing else it could be. Uh, so we catch the Dark Pulse, which is debuffed and resisted. And then again, I'm going for the Crunch, just I really want the debuff. I just want to see the debuff. When you need it, you don't get it. You know what I mean? Okay, well, I've went, well I, yeah, I got it, so that's four, right? I think that's four, so apparently not. Apparently, my memory is just absolute garbage. All right, so we shielded that up because they built up a crap load of energy there, and I was like, okay, Gung Shot, no thank you. Uh, Gung Shot is still resisted, but... All right, so I don't know what happened there. 
Uh, that's a bit weird. I guess it landed, but the damage didn't show, so whatever. I'm gonna go for the crunch here. This does do super effective damage. And we get the shield, very nice. And now we're trying to catch the Icy Wind. And, uh, looks like they're gonna throw anyway. This is fine. Icy Wind is resisted here. I don't even know what other move it's got, to be honest. Alright, so we're farming up. We're farming up a ton of energy here. We're gonna go for the Shadow Ball, because I doubt they're gonna shield. They're probably gonna leave it all up to Alolan Muck here. The Shadow Ball is going to be taking out Mr. Rhyme, and now Alolan Muck comes in, and I go for the Shadow Ball. Uh, reason why is because it does way more damage than Bubble Beam, and I don't think they'll, sh they'll shield. And there it is. We land it, and now they are forced to throw a Dark Pulse to take me out. Otherwise, the Hexes are going to take them out. Dark Pulse comes through, and then I believe I'm just going to go uh, Poison, Poison, yeah, Poison Sting down. So GG's Tech Grim. Very nice. All right, next up is Gizmo Lemieux. So shout out to Gizmo, shout out to all my patrons, I really do appreciate you guys, it's a huge help. Uh, Alright, so picking up, this is probably the worst lead for my team, Surfetch, because Surfetch can beat Jellicent, it can beat Drapion, uh, and if it has Brave Bird, that's pretty dangerous for Dragalge, but uh, since I, I can't really switch out here, it's not like the easiest thing for me to do, so I tried to, uh, okay, I was actually going to bait there, and uh, they do a very, er, he does a very nice catch onto his Mandibuzz, and again, I'm glad I'm seeing the Mandibuzz now, uh, because this is, um... Yeah, Mandibuzz is, is a bit tough for this team. Dragalge can beat Mandibuzz, especially with that debuff that we threw uh, from the Jellicent. And uh, I'm not going to be baiting. There's no reason to bait here. It's a Mandibuzz. Most Mandibuzzes don't shield, so I'm just going to go straight for the Outrage here. This is going to do a lot of damage. We land it, and now I think I'm just going to go for the uh, the Aqua... Oh, actually, I'm going to overfarm a little bit. Uh, he's overfarming as well, so we got to be careful. I'm going to try to throw my Aqua Tail at the same time he gets to a Dark Pulse. Uh, I believe I was one short there. I think I was one short. So either way, Aqua Tail is going to be coming through. That does take out the Mandibuzz. And let's see what comes back in. It is the Surfetch. Okay, so this is where I'd like to see the Surfetch. So this makes it a lot easier for me. But the problem is these counters uh, are resisted, which means if he decides to stay in Shield and Farm down, he's going to have a lot of energy left. And so now this thing is very dangerous to go up against. And I make a huge call and I say, okay, there's no Brave Bird. There's no Close Combat. It's Night Slash and Leaf Blade. Come in with the Drapion. Both of those are resisted. Boom. It is Night Slash and Leaf Blade. So very nice. Electivire comes in. This is very rough. We're going to go for the Crunch here. We are up on shields here, so I don't expect a shield, but I don't know. He might shield. Yeah, I was going to say, his Electivire is looking pretty good. Oh, another debuff. That's five. I think I've already lost count. All right, so we're going to shield this up. Or no, actually, no. That was just an Ice Punch because uh, it's six to get to a Wild Charge. So, um, and now I believe I shield this one up, even though it's most likely another Ice Punch. And that'll be good. Now we're going to overfarm by just a little bit here because it takes him only 5 and then 4 and then 5 and then 4 and then 5 and then 4 to get to Ice Punches, I think. So Crunch actually takes out the Electivire. Surfetch comes in and I believe I shield this up even though whatever it is is resisted because I think I can get to another Aqua Tail which should be taking out the Surfetch uh, before they get to or before I get to another charge move here. So this this is, uh, yeah. So Surfetch, like, like you saw, can be a bit rough for this team. But it's definitely uh, something you can play around. This next one is up against Hoopatastic. So let's see how this goes. All right. We're picking up a very positive lead. Uh, most of our team beats Typhlosion. Drapion is like the one. Eh, they all they all beat Typhlosion. So he comes in with a Roserade. And we're going to be coming in with the Dracalgy here. Uh, as everything will be resisted. Grass Knot, Leaf Blade, Leaf, Sto or Leaf Storm. Oh, it's a Leaf Storm, which is double resisted there. And that also double debuffs Roserade's health. Or, uh, double debuff, what am I saying? Double debuffs, Roserade's attack. So we're going to be going for this resistant Aqua Tail, which should provide enough uh, damage so that we can farm down without getting hit by anything crazy. This is most likely a Weather Ball, but it is double debuffed and resisted, so not going to do much. That Dragon Tail went through and took it out, and now there's an Excadrill coming in. An Excadrill running Mud Slap. Very interesting and also very bad for my team. All right, so we're going to go for this Aqua Tail, and we go down, uh, and now I believe we come in with, I mean, well, duh, we come in with the Jellicent, and then we just save the Drapion for the, um, the, uh, the guy, Typhlosion. So we're gonna go for the Shadow Ball as we are up on shields. This is probably gonna take out, okay, it doesn't fully take out an Excadrill, but it does do a lot of damage, and now we let this come through, and, uh, this Drill Run will do a little bit of damage, but Excadrill does hit very hard, and now we're gonna go for the Farm Down, and then we, uh, build one, we're almost to a Shadow Ball there, so we're gonna go straight in, and again, going for the debuff, I, if you use this team, and Aqua Tail is super effective. Just go for Aqua Tail. Don't do don't do what I've been doing. I just wanted to test the debuff out and see it because every time I've gotten hit by a crunch, I get debuff. So I wanted to see. Oh, going for the meme tries to solar beam me. I actually wish I would have let that through, but 
Either way, we're going to go for some Aqua Tails here. These are hitting for super effective damage. And uh, yeah, two of them should be enough. And I don't believe he'll get to another charge move here. Uh, I don't know why I overfarmed there. Should have just gone for the Aqua Tail as soon as I got it. I guess I was throwing in the middle of the uh, Incinerate animation just as kind of like as practice. Uh, so these poison, poison Stings are triple resisted here, but this Aqua Tail should do it. And that's going to be taken out the Excadrill. So GG's Oopatastic into the next battle going up against Davexa. <laughs> All right, picking up a positive lead here up against a Lowland Ninetales. Uh, we're going to be resisting the ice type attacks and only taking neutral from Dazzling Gleam as well as Psy Shock. So we're going to go for the Shadow Ball here. This is most likely... I, I, most Alolan Ninetales don't shield that uh, unless they need to, but on the lead, the most of them don't shield it. All right, so we let that come through, expecting a Dazzling Gleam, but it looks like he's running Psy Shock and Weather Ball. We both simultaneously switch, and now this is a test of power. How good is Drapion? All right, so we actually get a shield with that first Aqua Tail there. Uh, so, like I said, we are taking neutral damage from the counters, and uh, we got to watch out for close combat and Brave Bird, but it's just a Night Slash. Uh, and now, this was a little bit of cheating because I battled him just a second ago, and I already know his moveset because of that. Uh, so, most of the time, you got to watch out. You might have to shield a potential close combat. All right, so we're going to let this come through. Whatever it is, is not going to take us out. And it is another Night Slash, which is fine, resisted because of our Dark Typing. And now we're going for an Aqua Tail here. I don't think this is going to get a shield because it doesn't KO. But let's see. Okay, we actually, actually, it might have KO'd. It might have KO'd. Now that I'm looking at it. All right, so he decides to shield. And uh, he's got a lot of energy on this thing. We're going to come in with the Dragalgy. And there is a Politoed in the back. So it looks like we've got everything lined up uh, just the way we want it. So we're going to go for the Shadow Ball here. And we just need to land about two Shadow Balls plus Hexes to take out Politoed. So let's see how it goes. Do we shield this up? Could be an Earthquake, but it doesn't KO, even if it is. He decides to bait me with the Weather Ball. We're going to go for the next Shadow Ball here. This, I believe, is like just enough. Just like just enough to KO. It is. Okay. Oh, now, okay. Well, one more Hex took him out. And now the Surfetch comes in to throw. I actually decided to shield this up. Can't exactly remember why. Uh, but now I'm just going to try to catch on the Dragalgy. We barely barely are able to get the catch because the switch timer just came up if you noticed i stopped throwing hexes so that i could make that switch and it was perfectly timed and now the uh the galolden nine tails gets baited out and he's actually running ice beam which is crazy to me i did not expect that i fully expected a weather ball or a psy shock we're gonna go for the aqua tail here this will provide enough chip damage that we should be able to do what we need to do with our jellicent i know i can tank another psy shock uh, so we're gonna let that come through and then I believe I just go for the farm down and then go for the shadow ball up against the uh, the other thing So it's actually an ice beam, uh, but I am at hundred energy here So I can throw a bubble beam and then throw a shadow ball and that should be the game The bubble beam comes through and the surfetch is in the back I definitely needed a charge move to deal with the surfetch though That's why I over farm so much and there it is GG's very nice Dave Exa. Thank you for making me look like a better player than I actually am <laughs> All right up against Chase X Chaos. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what his in-game name says. I'm sure it says something, but I couldn't read it because, uh, you know, I got small brain. All right, so picking up again. This is a wor this is a worse lead. This is a worse lead than Surfetched. This is 1,000% a worse lead than Surfetched. All right, so if you saw there, I was trying to catch the Energy Ball on the Drapion, but if you notice, uh, if you ever get into this kind of lead, it's very hard to catch the Energy Ball without uh, stopping the attack. You have to stop attacking and then do the catch because you'll end up getting stuck in the hex animation either way he comes in with an xl gradient which i have never actually seen one of these in action i know a lot of content creators did videos on them i got some battle submissions as well but i've never seen this in the ultra league but as you're going to see here watch how much damage this outrage does all right so he goes for the crunch and gets the debuff of course of course he gets the debuff against me so body slam comes through body slam is more energy efficient by the way but now that crunch has that chance to debuff you might want to go crunch with the gradient so it's, it's an outrage. Did you see how much it, that was an outrage? It's actually outrageous that that didn't do more. Credent is bulky as all hell. This is like the Ultra League Diggers B right here. So we're going to shield that up and decide to farm down. Those bullet seeds were double resisted. And now I'm going to go for the outrage. I cannot get there. Should have just thrown the Aqua Tail. Would have done a little tiny bit of damage. But either way, we have alignment now. But this is still very rough. Since we don't have Sludge Bomb, we can't hit for super effective damage. We're going to let the weather, but well, we have no shields left, so this is very rough because this uh, Abomin Snow is absolutely stacked and jacked on energy. So weather balls are going to be spamming out left and right. 
We're gonna go for the crunch here. He sneaks a powder snow in. We gotta keep track of that so we can catch this next weather ball on the Jellicent. That's what I think one of our wind conditions here. Okay, we actually, okay, so he comes in with a Politoed. This is doable. This is doable. All right, so I don't think this is enough for an earthquake here, which might mean that he's running Blizzard and weather ball. So that's very good for me. Again, that's a lot of lag that just happened there. I was trying to, I, I tapped the charge move multiple times, but hey, you know, game didn't want to throw it. That's fine, doesn't really matter. All right, so we're gonna be over farming a ton now. Since he went for a weather ball, that tells me that I can over farm all the way up to 100 energy because these weather balls are resisted and they don't do very much at all. So we got two weather balls coming through, NB Delio. We're going to be just farming up to 100 energy, throwing the shadow ball to take out the Politoed, and then we've, we're one hex away from another shadow ball. So there it goes, and Abomastone comes back in. We're able to get to the shadow ball here. This does not KO, unfortunately. And then I got to switch right away here, hoping to throw the Aqua Tail, but I lose the CMP tie. This is rough. This can, how, how do I do? How do I do? Okay. So an accidental catch, but still able to win there. Appreciate all you guys. All right, next up is Makarikop. Ma Makarikop. I still think I forgot to ask him how to say their name. It, it's fine. All right, picking up a positive lead here, up against a Shadow Machamp. you love to see it. Uh, now, what you don't love to see is a Shadow Machamp running payback. But this is only enough for a rock slide. Uh, I believe it takes nine. Is it nine? Nine counters? Eight counters? Eight or nine counters to get to a payback. Whereas it takes seven to get to a rock slide. So, uh, got to keep track of that. So, we land the Shadow Ball. That is absolutely massive. And we're able to farm down without having to shield another rock slide. A Bomb of Snow comes in. And my... Why, do, why did I switch out of that? No. Bad. Bad, Shrady. Bad. <laughs> You should have stayed in and just let yourself go down. Okay, fair enough. That's fine, I guess. We're going to go for the debuff. Of course, we don't get the debuff. These poison stings are double resisted here, so this is a bit rough, but we can do super effective damage here with the Aqua Tails. So we'll spam these things out. There we go. So it looks like the Crunch and the Aqua Tail do about the same amount of damage. So if that's, you know, if you're going for the debuff, at least one extra poison sting, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so I get the debuff, but... Oh, wait, was that a poison fang? Did I shield a poison? Either way, I'm going to shield this because I want to keep the Drapion alive so I can actually take care of the Abomic Snow later because I realized my mistake way too late that I shouldn't have switched directly into my only counter to Abomic Snow. So we shield up the next one. It is an Earth Power and Abomic Snow comes in. This is bad because I am... Is it double debuffed or triple debuffed? I don't know. I'm, I'm very debuffed. So we're going to go for the crunch here. We do over tap, which is very unfortunate. And then uh, he sneaks an extra powder snow in. So we're going to go for the crunch. And I get the shield. No, don't shield that. Don't shield that. All right. So we come in with the Jellison here. And we're going to throw the Shadow Ball. This is going to be doing at least some damage. Can I pull this one out? It's going to take a whole team effort to get rid of this Abomas Snow. So we're going to go down here to an Energy Ball. And that's going to be taking me out. And now I got to come in with the Purple Shrimp. All right, so Purple Shrimp is going to be taking super effective damage from the Ice type attacks, but I can survive a Weather Ball, which means I should be able to farm this thing down before he gets to two Weather Balls. So I'm going to stay in here and not throw a thing and just go for the farm down. So tank the Weather Ball, absolutely fine. Uh, the Needle Queen doesn't have that much energy, but I don't want to get hit by a Poison uh, poison Sting or Poison Fang. So we're going to go for this Aqua Tail, which is going to be taking out the Needle Queen. And now we should be able to farm this Abomas Snow down or just do that. That's also, a, you could do that. That's a thing that you could do, but... You know, whatever. Either way, <laughs> hey, we'll take that win. Uh, GG's Makari Cup. Alrighty then. Next one, going up against the one and only Running Froggy. So shout out to Running Froggy. Let's see how this goes. Picking up a lead. Oh yeah, he told me, I'll run. It costs $2 million, or $2 million Stardust to build this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, very expensive team that Running Froggy's got over here. So, And he also told me afterwards that Jellicent leads for his team are absolutely very bad for him so <laughs> so i'm actually gonna be shielding this up or no i let it go i let it go oh it's a weather ball as well so maybe he's running blizzard as well i actually don't know i don't, I don't remember if we even saw a blizzard or an earthquake in this battle no we didn't uh so i probably tried to call the bait there all right so now he comes in with the obama snow which is looks like his only counter here but i can't switch out i need to stay in here and just go for some shadow balls all right so we get the shield with one of them that's looking good i do like it in shields very nice all right, and now we're going to let this come through because we just want to save our shields for Drapion so Drapion can take care of this thing. But he decides to bait me with a Weather Ball. That's absolutely massive. Uh, I don't believe this is even enough for another or for an Energy Ball. This is most likely another Weather Ball. So that does not KO. And now we should be able to get to another Shadow Ball here. So things are looking very good. Uh, this is what happens when you're able to call baits really frequently. All right, so we get both shields. That is huge. All right, so now 
All right, he's going to be thrown here so he doesn't get hit by another charge move, which makes sense. The Weather Ball is going to be taking me on. He does have a little bit of extra energy, but now we can come in with the Drapion. And I believe I let this come through. Maybe? Shield it? I don't know. It is a Weather Ball, obviously. Energy Ball would be resisted. So Ninetales comes in, and we're able to catch whatever this is on the Dragalgy. But guess what? He threw, knowing I was trying to catch. So <laughs> that was big brain. Huge brain running Froggy. All right, so now we're going to be over farming a bit here. And uh, definitely going to be shielding this up, even though I know it's a weather ball. It's most likely a weather ball, but Ninetales still hits pretty hard. All right, so now we're going to be over farming and throw this Aqua Tail before he gets to another charge move here. Because uh, even a resisted weather ball will still do a lot to, to the purple shrimp here. So, all right. So we land the Aqua Tail, does not KO, but one more Powder Snow does. And unfortunately, we're locked in here, and I make a mistake and went for the Outrage, which means this is rough. This is rough. So we're definitely going to be eating a couple weather balls here. Well, we can only eat one, I believe. All right, so we're able to get to the crunch. This is going to be taking out the Abomin Snow. So we're able to take that uh, take that one out. As you can see there, even with that insanely positive lead, Abomin Snow is something that's hard to come back from. So, all right, into the last battle, going up against Deadbeat Pilgrim. So let's check it out. This one's very funny. That's why I put it at the end. Well, it was also the last battle I did, but you'll see. All right, so picking up a positive lead here up against the Shadow Machamp. I'm looking super great, you know? All right, so he tries to catch a Shadow Ball on his Snorlax, and I come in with the Drapion here, as uh, Drapion does not have a good matchup up against Shadow Machamp, because uh, the only thing that... It's, again, like a fighter, you know? So the only, only thing that hits for neutral is the Aqua Tail, so... But, and also here in this matchup, uh, we got to watch out for Earthquake. Earthquake hits for super effective. Super Power hits for neutral. Body Sim also hits for neutral. Getting a bunch of lag. You love to see it. You really don't, though. That's actually the line. You don't love to see it. You actually hate to see it. All right, so going... Uh, Getting uh, no damage on that charge move, so I'm going to let this next one come through and, and let him over farm a bit because he was just robbed, you know, like highway robbery. So let him get some extra energy there. Now we go for the crunch. Ugh, man, Niantic, you got to get your uh, gotta get your game in order, you know what I mean? All right, so we're going for the next crunch here. This should be taking out the, uh, the, uh, the big fat tubby sleepy guy. That's the guy, that guy over there. Okay, he goes down. Um, a champ inevitably is going to be coming back in. We knew that was going to happen. He does a very nice job of forcing a CMP tie there, so he doesn't have to uh, take the Aqua Tail. And now, I believe... I don't remember what I did here. Okay, I do come in with the Purple Shrimp. All right, I do come in with the Purple Shrimp. This Machamp is absolutely loaded on energy, and here is my sign. He goes for a Cross Chop. Do you know what's going to happen at the end of this battle? And there's an Umbreon in the back. Okay, so we have alignment, right? We got Dragalge on Umbreon which isn't Umbreon banned? Maybe not. I, I don't actually don't think it is. I don't think it is. But either way, we got Dragalge on Umbreon. We got Jellicent on Machamp. Nothing can go wrong. We're fine. We're going to win this one. All right, so I'm actually going to bait here because I would imagine he probably wants to keep the Umbreon alive so that he can take out the Jellicent, but he does a very nice call and calls the bait there. So I have to double shield here because I need to get rid of this Umbreon before it does any more damage. All right, so now we're not looking as good anymore. We're not looking as good anymore. We have got zero shields. He's got two, so he shields that up. And now he's going to be going for the foul play here. Also, he was over farming, so I thought he had psychic, but it, it most, likely, most likely just has foul play. All right, so we're actually able to take out the Umbreon. So we got this. This is in the bag, right? So he's going to come in and throw his little piddly rock slide. Uh, yeah, no. Well, it's payback, I guess. Well, thank you guys for stopping by if you wanted to enjoy this video i'd appreciate it if you left a like and if you're new to the channel i'd appreciate it if you subscribe as long as you enjoy the content and a huge thank you to boksu for sponsoring this video if you guys want to go try boksu for yourself go down to the description use my link as well as code pogo10 to get 10 percent off your order today and these uh these boxes are really cool i'm actually excited to try the next one so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next video take it easy Shout out to my patrons, Billy Bravebird, Running Froggy, The North Star, Doug J. Dempsey, Cleric, Ryan Borowski, Dave Adamson, Dracobound, JR91, K, Ankleweights, DJ Mimsy, Clapton Caveman, King Edward, Austin Gustavik, Moach, Kodiak Jenkins, Vintage Kish, Kitty Sophie, Kit Kulek, Will M, Edward O'Neill, Winter Fang, Infamous One, Daniel Timms, Ray Rafik, Ankleweights, Insubin, Stashu, Madhouse655321, and Ryde Akina.